So hi, hello and welcome, Micropuncher here again and in this video I want to talk about the upgrading of microscopes, uh, specifically um, about the upgrading of mid-range microscopes and as always I'd like to read out the question of one of my viewers first. The question I have is, is there even a possibility to upgrade objectives to even higher resolution, not magnification? This one seems to be a 100 times objective and you say that the 25 times eyepiece doesn't resolve as well, but is there an objective that can offer an even higher resolution for this microscope? Perhaps if it's compatible with objectives from other manufacturers? Also what sort of upgrades can you do on the microscope apart from do-it-yourself dark fill and camera upgrades? How much can you really upgrade and get the most out of this microscope? Thanks in advance. So, okay, first of all, thank you again uh, for the question. And uh, to make it short, uh, generally the upgradability of mid-range microscopes is limited. Not impossible, uh, but limited. Um, now, I'm just gonna give you a couple of suggestions of what you might uh, want to upgrade. I already mentioned in a couple of my previous videos, it's po the possibility for you to manufacture or make uh, some dark field patch stops. You can try Rheinberg illumination, which is quite nice, oblique illumination. And I already made a few videos about this. Um, and this is indeed something that I would uh, first try or a, a polarization microscopy. It's uh, quite uh, straightforward and easy to do. And this really expands the possibilities of what you can observe and it makes the specimens also appear yeah, different. And uh, so there's lots of experimentation there. However, your question specifically was about the improving of image quality if you exchange objectives. And this is, is where we are a little bit limited in this uh, price category, not only with the microscope model that you are uh, referring to, uh, but generally here. Um, I need to explain a little bit the background information here. Those mid-range microscopes are generally manufactured in China and they're imported uh, to Europe, to the United States, to other countries, and then they're rebranded. So this means that the importer then attaches uh, its own label, its own brand uh, to the microscope and then resells it. Um, and this basically means that many of the objectives that you see um, on those mid-range microscopes, if you compare the microscopes from different brands, you will not only see that many of the microscopes are very similar, but that they actually use the same types of optics. Uh, yeah, because there are not so many different types of optics available in this uh, category. And these are all uh, usually 160 millimeter DIN objectives. Um, and there are a couple of, of models uh, around. Um, yeah, some of uh, a little bit more expensive, some a little bit more economical and cheaper. But um, besides that, there are not so many different uh, types of um, objectives um, available. Um, if you want to do some direct uh, shopping for these objectives, you can go to AliExpress and directly check uh, um, yeah, in AliExpress because these are basically where Chinese retailers directly sell. You will discover that some of, some of these objectives are, re are remarkably cheap. Now, the problem with uh, these objectives is, well, not there's not a problem with the objectives per se, um, but the problem with these um, microscopes is, is that they are not manufactured to be very expandable. Because if you want to have uh, better objectives, uh, you can try to get objectives with a higher numerical aperture. That is the value that is printed on the um, objective. And if you have a higher NA value, uh, then generally um, the resolution is higher. But with the 100 times objectives that you get, oil immersion objectives that you get these days, the numerical aperture is all the same with 1.25. So really, there are not many options that you have here. Now, what you might want to try to do is, is you want to say, okay, maybe not a higher numerical aperture, but maybe a, what are plan objectives or um, apochromatic objectives. But the thing is, is that uh, those, um, yeah, these are already pretty expensive objectives and they're not really manufactured so much for these mid-range uh, microscopes, but uh, rather for yeah, brand microscopes that are really expensive for research purposes. And then it can be that uh, those objectives quickly cost way more than the whole microscope and then they won't fit because these are usually infinity um, objectives that don't fit to the 160 millimeter standard. For example, Olympus, Nikon, Zeiss and Leica, the modern ones, they are producing now um, yeah, those uh, infinity objectives that are all very um, yeah, company specific and not interchangeable with other, um, with other brands. So what you might then want to do is, is you might want to go for, uh, shopping for, um, you know, for used objectives on eBay. That is indeed a possibility. But uh, anytime when you do something like this, you have to be aware that uh, the objectives most likely are not going to be par focal anymore. So this means if you exchange your, I don't know, your 100 times objective with another one, 
um, maybe one, a better one, um, it might quite well be that uh, when you change uh, the objectives from the 40 times objectives to the new 100 times objective, then they're not par focal anymore. And that's already, yeah, that's not so easy then to use uh, because then you have to refocus every time when you change the magnification. Yeah? So if you actually um, intend to upgrade or change something around, I would recommend that you change all of the objectives. But then I have to say, is you're probably not going, you're going to end up spending a bit of money <laughs> for that, but you will not uh, see, yeah, see any miracles really. Because uh, even those mid-range microscopes nowadays, they are already pretty good and uh, um, you will not see such a significant improvement in image quality. So um, the thing is, is now if you want to actually go to the direction, if you want to take the direction, the hobby into the direction where you can do a lot of upgrade and, and tinkering around with a microscope, there are really two possibilities here. One thing is, is that you um, try to build together your own microscope uh, using second-hand parts. So what you do is, is you try to select a, a a brand, uh, a well-known brand, uh, usually one of those four well-known brands, and then you uh, try to put together yourself in a microscope uh, using parts. So for example, um, if you choose Zeiss, you might decide, okay, I want to put together a Zeiss standard microscope. It's the name of the microscope is called Zeiss standard. It was very, very popular, uh, manufactured in very large quantities, lots of parts still available on uh, second hand not cheap either okay because these were quality microscopes or if you say okay i want to go more into the olympus direction and maybe you want to put together yourself um, a used olympus bh microscope or ch series microscope um, and then you buy the parts together and uh, until you have your complete microscope and then you can do a lot of upgrading there as well and you can try out different optics and so on um, but that's probably, yeah, it's not so cheap either. Yeah? Or the second possibility is, is that you say, okay, I really want to buy myself a microscope that is really upgradable, expandable, has a lot of uh, parts um, that can be exchanged and where the company also offers uh, lots of parts. Then you have to uh, take uh, a model from one of those uh, big four microscope manufacturers, but then you have to be aware that you're really in a totally different price category and uh, significantly more expensive. But then you also have, of course, microscopic techniques available that are definitely not available in the mid-range or lower range uh, price uh, microscopes. Yeah, so that is essentially a thing. I just want to talk about this microscope here. It's an Olympus CH40 which I bought in 1998. Um, what about the upgradability here? Well, honestly, um, yeah, I have to go on the second-hand market right now because uh, the parts are not manufactured anymore by the company uh, because they changed uh, from the 160 millimeter standard to infinity optics. Um, so, but parts are still available because it's a brand microscope and because um, it was man parts were manufactured in such a high quantity that I'm still able to get parts for it. But it's uh, still not a very cheap thing. Um, so you need to see you have this trade off a little bit. Uh, but in any case, what I would generally recommend is, is that uh, uh, you probably um, are better off if you try to take microscopy maybe into the direction of um, yeah, maybe specimen preparation, because if you improve the specimen quality, then also the image quality will get better. And sometimes this overcompensates the actual objectives. Um, so you see there is, um, yeah, there, are, there are multiple ways how you can improve the image quality, or if you get yourself a, a decent camera system or something like that. Um, so you can actually improve the image quality this way as well. And also with practice, of course. Um, so you see there are different possibilities of what you can do. I think enough for today. I wish you um, all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.